Fruits can take different shapes, colors, or grow in hideous places. But there is an absolutely massive number of exotic fruits out there that you may have never seen before. Whether you'd like to diversify your diet by trying different fruits, or are simply curious about the types of fruits found in other areas of the world, here are the top 30 unusual fruits you will be seeing for the first time. Acabia Quintana it is commonly known as chocolate vine, five-leaf chocolate vine, or five-leaf Akibia Quintana. This is a shrub that is native to Japan, China, and Korea, and invasive in the eastern United States. The flowers are clustered in shoots and are chocolate-scented. The fruits are sausage-shaped pods which contain edible pulp. The fruit contains a sweet, soft pulp resembling a white dragon fruit, eaten primarily in Japan as a seasonal delicacy. The rind, with a slight bitter taste, is used as a vegetable, for example, stuffed with ground meat and deep fried. The vines are traditionally used for basket weaving. Black Sapote For any other fruit, a black or brown interior indicates it has outlived its welcome. The fact is the opposite for the black sapote. The interior gets darker when the fruit is ready to eat. Its texture, taste, and color have all been compared to chocolate pudding, which makes the fruit both appealing and highly unusual. So finally, we can grow and enjoy copious amounts of chocolate. Buddha's Hand Still not on Fear Factor, multiple different varieties of Buddha's hand exist, often with considerable variation in the way the fingers are spread. In some varieties, they are close together, while in others, they are splayed out on the open hand. This fruit is largely ornamental, both because of its appearance and aroma. Pawpaw fruit. I know, you know this too, but did you know pawpaw trees are male, female, or bisexual? It is important to be aware of this as male specimens don't bear fruit and female trees will need a male partner standing a few meters away so they can reproduce. The bi's produce flowers that have both male and female functioning parts. Jujube. Known as the red or Chinese date, jujube is native to Southern Asia but has become popular around the world. The freshly harvested, as well as candy dried fruit, are often eaten as a snack. Smoked jujubes are consumed in Vietnam and are referred to as black jujubes. This plant has been introduced in Madagascar and grows in an invasive species in the western part of the island. Jabuticaba This is an unusual case of a fruit that grows directly on the trunk of the tree. The fruits can be eaten straight off the tree and grown to around 1.5 inches in diameter. Often the fruit is used in a similar manner to grapes, which is why some parts of the world also have Jabuticaba wines and liquors. Mangosteen This is neither a mango nor a steen. Despite the fruit's popularity, it was illegal to import them into the United States for a long time because of fears that it contained the Asian fruit fly. Mangosteen are now available in the United States, and the best place to source them is Asian specialty food stores. At the same time, there has been a growing interest in the mangosteen juice. Langsat Langsats are orb-shaped fruits that look a little bit like a small potato with the skin on. The inside of the fruit is an entirely different story. When ripe, the fruit is sweet and tastes a bit like a grapefruit. Two main varieties of Langsat exist, a thick and a thin-skinned. Monstera Deliciosa It is another tropical fruit, although this one looks more like a corn than a fruit. The green scaly exterior of the fruit is tough and inedible. Instead, it is the white flesh beneath it that people eat. The fruit should only be eaten when it's completely ripe, as the unripe fruit can irritate and cause adverse reactions. Noni Fruit This fruit is roughly the size of a mango. It is normally eaten for its potential health benefits rather than its taste. Many different health claims have been made about the noni fruit, although little has been proven. Nevertheless, the high antioxidant claims suggest that it may offer some benefits. Our basket is still full. Salac Salaks might be rare in the United States, but they are particularly common in Indonesia. The fruit is roughly the size of a strawberry and has a complex taste that includes honey, citrus, and pineapple. The texture of the salak fruit is spongy, which is a bit unusual for people who aren't used to it. Salak contains a myriad of vital body nutrients like proteins, calcium, iron, potassium, and vitamin C. Breadfruit the interesting thing about the breadfruit is that it can be eaten in different stages of development. When the fruit is mature, it can be eaten raw and has a sweet and creamy taste. 
making it a good option for desserts. It also makes a good substitute for more starchy vegetables like potatoes. An African breadfruit seed is a delicacy which is relished in Southeast Nigeria. The undecorticated seeds may be roasted, dehulled and eaten with palm kernel or coconut as a snack. Another healthy way to indulge in junk. Let's get some likes for breadfruit. Suriname Cherry Technically, this is not a cherry, and it doesn't even look that much like a cherry. Surinams are a bit of an acquired taste, especially as they don't actually taste that good at first. Like the Monstra Deliciosa, these should only be eaten when they are completely ripe. At that time, they are a deep red color. Finger Lime Australian finger limes are a particularly unusual type of sit fruit. They have been referred to as lime caviar. The fruits have been getting increasingly popular as a gourmet food. The little bulbs within the fruit contain juice that tastes similar to a common lime. These burst when chewed, which makes them an appealing garnish to many dishes. Kiwano Even from the outside, the kiwano looks a little odd. From the inside, the fruit is even more confusing. The flesh itself is a combination of kiwi fruit, zucchini, and cucumber taste. This odd combination is also quite appealing. Kiwano can be eaten alone or added to fruit salads, smoothies, or salsa. Longan. This is a Chinese fruit with a translucent white flesh and a shiny black seed. Longan means dragon eye in Chinese language and is named so because it looks like an eyeball when shelled. Longan is native to South Asia and is similar in appearance and texture to Lykee. Physalis. Physalis is a small orange berry that is sour and sweet. It's related to tomatoes and tomatillos and is encased in a papery husk similar to a tomatillo. The Physalis fruit is native to the Americas and more commonly South America. In Peru, the fruit is added to pisco sours to make a delicious cocktail. Cherimoya. American writer Mark Twain called it the most delicious fruit known to men. Its creamy texture makes the fruit more enjoyable when chilled and eaten with a spoon. Descriptions of its taste vary, but most get a hint of banana, strawberry, and pineapple. The fruit has a very short shelf life, which is one reason why it's so hard to find. Kupuaku Kupuaku comes from the same family as cocoa and is commonly used as an alternative to cocoa. This creates a chocolate alternative that is appealing to many, especially people who are trying to move away from cocoa. This is a more complex taste that isn't quite what you get from the standard chocolate. Aki. This is another member of the soapberry family, much like the longan and the lychee. However, caution is advised here as parts of the fruit can be poisonous, leading to vomiting, a coma, or even death. The only edible part of the achy is the yellowish flesh that surrounds the seeds. This part should also only be eaten when the achy fruit has turned red and split open. Myrica rubra. This is an evergreen tree that grows 10 to 20 meters high. It has a smooth gray bark and a uniform spherical to hemispherical crown. Myrica rubra was first introduced into the United States by Frank Nicholas Meyer from seeds purchased from the Yokohama Nursery Company in Japan and published in the Bulletin of Foreign Plant Introductions in 1918. As of 2007, 865,000 acres were devoted to the fruit's production in China, double the amount of acres utilized for apples in the United States. Therefore, this fruit could be landing at your table anytime now. Feijoa fruit. Feijoas mature in autumn and are a sweet fruit when flavored of mint, pineapple, and apple. They are genuinely eaten by cutting in half and scooping out the interior with a spoon. The fruit is also particularly good in smoothies because of its complex taste. Feijoas are more commonly cultivated for food in New Zealand. Durian. Inside the thorny exterior is a soft, creamy fruit with an extremely intense aroma. In fact, you can smell the fruit even when the shell is intact. Descriptions of the taste vary considerably, but one disturbing one is that of rotten, mushy onions. Despite this, there are many people who are fanatical about the fruit. Durian eating contests are held annually and not on Fear Factor. I wonder what else we could be made to eat soon. Tamarillo. This is an egg-shaped fruit with a sour and pulpy flesh that you can scoop out with a spoon. Also known as the tree tomato, the tamarillo is native to South America. In the Galapagos Islands, Ecuador, it is blended with water and sugar to make tamarillo juice. 
Fuyu Persimmon Persimmons are often referred to as the fruit of the gods. There's a fair amount of history and mythology that surround the fruit. It's also a bit high maintenance because many varieties need to be very soft before they can be eaten. The Fuyu Persimmon is the most accessible variety of persimmon because it is the least sour. Which two fruits do you think we should graft, even just for fun? Keep sharing your thoughts. Starfruit This is a tropical fruit that is rapidly becoming popular in the United States. The shape of the fruit is such that when it is sliced in half, the sections form five star snacks. The flesh of the fruit is crunchy and juicy, and the taste can vary considerably across the fruit species. Ripe fruit can be eaten plain, while raw star fruit is cooked. Adamoya the Atamoya is actually a hybrid of two different fruits, which are Chirimoya and the sugar apple. Even though it looks resistant to pressure, the fruit is easily crushed. While the flesh of the fruit is edible and delicious, the seeds are not safe to eat and should be highly avoided. Red Bananas Red bananas are a group of varieties of banana with reddish-purple skin. Some are smaller and plumper than the common Cavendish banana, others much larger. When ripe, raw red bananas have a flesh that is cream to light pink in color. They are also softer and sweeter than the yellow Cavendish varieties, some with a slight raspberry flavor and others with an earthy one. They are a favorite in Central America as a form of aphrodisiac juice, along with being a favorite in India in order to promote fertility, but are sold throughout the world. Blue Apple but first, do us a favor. Click that like button to inspire us. Subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell and you won't miss any interesting videos. Done then, let's go. You may have seen red or green apple, but have you ever seen a blue apple? A viral video on Instagram shows a blue colored apple. The video shows a person cutting a piece out of the blue colored apple grown on a tree. The claim in the viral video states that the blue apple is made in China. There is a rumor that Chinese people discovered blue apple by mutation of different gene. But many people believe that the apple was painted before caught on camera. Because this many videos shows pure white apple in China. They look so attractive. Let us know what you think about this apple. Loquat Loquats are a small, pear-shaped orange fruit with large seeds. They taste like a combination of peach and mango. Plant elements called carotenoids give this juice-fleshed fruit its color and provide an excellent source of vitamin A, essential for healthy eyes and a strong immune system. Loquats are also a good source of calcium, potassium, and fiber. Which of these do you plan to hunt down? Have you ever tried any of the fruits? Let us know in the comments section. Like always, if you enjoyed it, be sure to give us a big thumbs up and leave us some love in the comment section. To keep up to date with all of our awesome videos, be sure to hit subscribe and turn your notifications on to never miss a thing. Until next time, do take care of yourself.